How is it going everyone? Brandon from the Mangame Guys back with another Let's Read Tower of God video. In the last time it was chapter 54 and in this video it's chapter... No, in the last time it was chapter 53 and this time it's chapter 54. And I was completely in love with that chapter. It was an amazing chapter. Let's get into this one and maybe this time we'll get into the results of the game since that was pretty much the last thing mentioned at the end of the last chapter. So, hoping. Oh, we're just going straight into it. No, uh, no little opening scene before this. Second floor, deep sea fish. I still don't know what that's for. Chapter three. We got junk food galore. People are eating it up because they can. Serena gulp. It's been a while since I've drank like this. Her and Shibisu about to get it on. Make sure you call him daddy. She, he likes that. Why don't you have some? You're really going to make me drink alone while you sit there sober? What kind of manners is that? No thanks, I don't want to be drunk all day long. I'll just pour for you. It's weird, I want to say like Shibisu probably is too young to drink, but then again, people's age in the tower. Like, you, you have no idea how old people are. Drinking... <sighs> you don't seem to be worried. But I am. What if I fail? What if... What will I do if I wash out? Just yesterday, after Ho's death, I made up my mind to live more fully. That's uh, Serena talking. For some reason, I thought it was Shibisu for a second. I've always become... I've already become weak and anxious. Since the moment I woke up this morning, I've been worried. I'm just too weak. She's probably not going to get picked. Do you know why Ho died? Because he was like me. Because he was weak like me. I know I shouldn't, but I understand why Ho hated Bomb. He's different from us. He stays focused on his goals. He doesn't fall apart. No matter how hard I try, I feel like I can't beat him. That's why I mean, I mean to him. Was she mean to him? I never really noticed. I think you should stop drinking. I feel better. As he's pouring her a drink, I think you should stop drinking. Talking behind his back and calling his friends names. And laughing. Talking behind his back and calling... Oh, talking, about, talking behind his back and calling him names and laughing. He just stands out. That's Mr. Full, I think. Got Mr. Full and knock. Feel better talking behind his back and calling him names and laughing. Okay, she's, she's saying she just feels better in general. He just stands out. And Dorsey, that's Gobi. For some reason, I got Mr. Full mixed up with him. Gobi, right there. That's not his real name, but I forget. It's like his nickname. Him and Paracule. Bomb's talking to everybody. What is he saying? Hardworking Bomb. Oh, is he talking to the people? About the Alliance? Why are you fucking talking to Paracule? Probably think he's too good for you anyway. Hey, Miss Dorsey, I heard that you're trying to persuade the others to team up with you and Rachel. No matter what you do, no one will join you, though. They made it all the way to this point to take... To take the last... There is another test. I didn't think there was. They made it all the way to this point to take the last test with a cripple... Who would do such a crazy thing? I didn't know there was another test. D <laughs> Bomb. They will. Look at the way. Bomb maturing. He would not he would not have said anything like that before. He would have said, what do you mean? Or it would have been like, like a polite answer. Then he was just like, no, they will. I like that. I like that a lot. I'll ask again, why are you so obsessed with her? When I first saw her, I felt there was something odd about her. She was like a stranger from another world, wandering somewhere unknown. Well, it turns out she's just an ordinary girl. What happened between you and Rachel, Bob? I don't want to say we're about to get a bomb backstory, but are we about to get a bomb backstory? I 
I was born in a very dark and lonely place. I'm so ready for this, if this is actually gonna happen. I didn't know who I was, where I was, or why I was there. All I knew was that there was light above. He was just born somewhere and abandoned by his parents. I built with no ah! still mystery. I built a tower of rubble to go beyond the light. But when I reached it, I finally realized what was it? That I would never get out. And that someone beyond the light had locked me in that deep and lonely darkness. What? That's the conclusion you came to? But when I reached it, I realized I would never get out and that someone beyond the light had locked me in the deep and lonely darkness. I cried. So this is what, that's from the top view and this is Bomb looking up. You just saw like a little circle of light. Not even a full circle. I cried. Was he just born at this age, or was he like raised from a baby to here, or was he just literally created and he was like this old? Because maybe he just doesn't remember when he was a baby baby. Like his first memory is probably right here. All, all this was, yeah, this was all that he knew, that he, there was a light above. Well, it said he was born. I was born in a very dark and lonely place. Okay. I'm just gonna continue, sorry. I like to go back. I cried, and when I realized I was all alone, dropping a rock on my foot, and when I, re when I realized I was alone, dropping a rock on my foot, building my tower, didn't hurt as much as that real realization. But then the ceiling moved. Oh, bomb. She was the first thing my bomb saw. The ceiling moved, and Rachel popped her head out, and she looked angelic, probably. I wouldn't care if Rubble was falling on me then if the ceiling moved. He's looking up, and a miracle happened. He looks so freaky with long hair. That's when I saw my beautiful savior. Rachel is the only person who came down to me from the light. So wherever she goes, I will follow. She's more than just a girl in a bomb. She's like his salvation. Never really thought about that. Okay, glad we got that. These look like gramophones. Wow, what a huge collection. This is Kun talking to Lee Roro. Yep. You are a ranker indeed. You have almost all the limited editions. No, no, I just bought some when I moved in. It's nothing special, nothing compared to what your family has. They look like gramophones, or like speakers. So, why are you here? Rachel, I mean, Michelle Light. <laughs> Does anybody even believe that she's Michelle Light? Or that she's not Rachel. I want to know what can be. I want to know what can be done to make it possible for her to take the next test. Well, you're straightforward. <laughs> I did hear about Michelle and Baum, but we can't let her just take the test because of their personal drama. Remaining healthy is a regular's duty. What if Rachel's injury was caused by someone who's not a regular? Ha ha, it can't be. What's this memo? Somebody sent this to Ho before the test. Oh, yes, they did. And I actually forgot about that plot point. Somebody sent this to Ho before the test. In short, it says, kill Rachel to stop Bomb from going up the tower. And, the person who sent this is 
sent this was definitely not a regular. Who sent it? Is this, is this who we're gonna is we're gonna see now who sent it? Because we're going somewhere else. Hello? Yes, sir, it's me. Sorry for reporting in late. Too many eyes here. Yep. The position test is over now. I think this might be the person. The results haven't been announced yet, but if there are no surprises, the two will pass the test. Yeah, well, it was likely to turn out like that, but what can you do about it? Yeah, this is definitely the person who sent the message, because the way they're saying it, yeah, well, it was likely to turn out like that, but what can you do about it? They did not want both of them passing the test, I guess, or at least not bomb. What can you do about it? Really? I thought this was like a girl, a little girl character based on the feet. What can you do about it? I will retrieve the Black March and Green April during the last test. Unexpected twist, you gone. During the last test. Oh, and about the boy, as I mentioned before. What is this little? I I don't I think this symbol means that they're evil or it's part of an evil family. But I I I don't know I don't recognize it if I'm supposed to, perhaps. And about the boy, as I mentioned before, perhaps he does have the talent to receive the symbol of the triple I. Triple I. He, perhaps he does have the talent to receive the symbol of the triple I. Well, one step at a time. He has to become a ranker first. Looks like he's in like a giant like ice mountain place. I'll test his talents more. Haha. Ha. I want one under my thumb. Wow, I did not see this going. Then I'll contact you when I'm done on Evan Cahill's floor. The surveillance is really tough here. They even know what regulars write in their diaries. It was so hard to sneak in here. Damn Hun Sung Yu. That is his name. I was right a couple chapters ago. Hun Sung Yu. Damn Hun Sung. I don't know what he's plotting with Evan Cahill here. After rejecting a higher after rejecting a higher ranker a high ranker position officer. What are you doing, Mr. Yuga? Who is this? Um, it could probably either be Hung Sung Yu, or maybe Lee Ro Ro, because Kun told us about this, and this is after Kun had the conversation with him. What are you doing, Mr. Yuga? It's Hung Sung Yu. A secret call in here. You've gone too far. Okay, I did not think he was about to be found out after it was just introduced to us that he was some kind of traitor or like conspiracy guy. He just says, Sue, Supervisor, I told you not to come in here. Didn't you hear me through that thick fur of yours? He looks like he's about to do something very badass. That thick fur of yours. Jihad Royal Assassination Unit number 67 Ren. So, Yugon's part of the Jihad Royal Assassination Unit? His real name is Ren? Oh, so this was just a disguise and he's actually inside that thing? End of chapter. Yep. Okay. Well, we still did not get to see the results of the game. I'm just fucking with you, I'm not actually upset about that. Uh, wow. We got a couple things this chapter. Okay, so Yugon was apparently the one that sent Ho the the message about Rachel and Bomb. I would not have thought it was him. And apparently he works for Jihad as an assassin. The real name is Ren. And that last shot, I think we're led to believe that someone's inside the body. Like, Yugon's, like, that wasn't his real body. That was like a... a 
fake and he was just kind of hiding inside but okay but Hung Sung Hung Sung Yu he figured that shit out real fast so I wonder what he's going to do as punishment because he's he's most likely more powerful than than him but uh, I guess we'll see but I'm trying to remember what happened before that Oh, we got a little bit of Bomb's backstory. That was so... That was so nice to finally get, even though... Well... I guess I could say we got a little bit, but... I don't know if there's much more to it. The only thing that I would want to see more is whose Bomb's parents were, and why they left him in a hole, or how he ended up in that hole. But I'm glad that we got what we got, because now it kind of opens my eyes to how Bomb sees Rachel. Literally, she is his savior, his, like, goddess of light. She came down from the light, and the only other person that Bomb has ever seen for a while. So I, I kind of understand more now why he just wants to follow her and just be with her, and that's, what, that's all he cares about, because she, she saved him, so he'll do anything to be with her. So that that is very nice. That was nice writing right there, and it makes makes a lot more sense on Bomb's part what he's doing now. And besides that, not much else happened in this chapter. Um, like the video if you did, leave a comment down below. Were you surprised when you first saw Yugon as the person who wrote the note uh, to Ho? Like, who were you guys thinking it was and were you surprised that it was Yugon? Uh, because I most certainly was not thinking it was him and I'm surprised right now very much. Um, and uh, subscribe if you like this kind of content and always let me know how I can improve these videos because I make them for you all and I want to make them as best as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.